There are a lot of challenges that come with trying to study peroxisomal disorders. First of all, it's really difficult to recruit participants when the participants are from a community affected by rare diseases because by nature, they're rare. That in itself gets challenging, but that's why the GFPD is such a great organization to be a part of because it allows us to get connected with so many different families that are affected by peroxisomal disorders and it really makes our research a lot easier to do. Another reason that research in peroxisomal disorders is challenging has to do with funding. It's difficult to fund a rare disease because it affects so few people. That and then the historical lack of funding of rare disease research has made it so that there's a lot of unknowns. It's really challenging to figure out where do you start and most of the time when you think that you're going to start at some point, you have to backtrack a lot and go back to the very beginning because nothing has been ever done in, in a specific area of research with peroxisomal disorders or really any rare disease. You really have to build the research that you're doing from the ground up. And that can be very rewarding because you know this is something that you started from its infancy, but it takes a very long time.